Mm -hmm. So there's a really cool story when we released Horizon 1. There were all these threads we saw on various forums where people would park up a car outside a house in Colorado in that game. They would take a picture and they'd post it to the forum and say, this is my house in the game. This is like where I live. <laughs> uh, and that was like really inspirational for us. And I actually used a lot of those um, photos when I first started talking to people about this feature to, to kind of pitch it. Um, so, uh, yeah, so in Horizon 4, it makes sense to do it now, right? Because now you're at the festival all year round. Yeah. So you need somewhere to sleep. Yeah, you, you, can't, you can't just sleep in your car, even though I tried yeah. to argue earlier that you could sleep there if you like it. Probably not in winter, but yeah. No, a bit, bit summer, cold. Yeah. Bit, a bit cold or a bit hot, you yeah. know. Like, so um, what, what are you able to do in the player? For, actually, first of all, how many player houses yeah, so, are there in the world? So there are 12 houses. Um, there's like a huge variety. So when you start the game, um, we kind of give you one after the first hour or so. Um, and then from there, you're free to go explore, discover them. Some of them are really well hidden. So my favourite is just deep in the woods. It's this, I think it's a, called a huntsman, Huntsman's Lodge. Yeah. So if you kind of fancy yourself as a, like as a, a woodsman. A uh, woodsman, <laughs> go for the... <laughs> yeah. Um, then uh, that might be on for you. What, was your what would, would be yours, Harry? I think we talked about it earlier. Uh, Edinburgh Castle, the uh, multi multi million. You mean the one property. that's the hardest, <laughs> the hardest to earn in the game, right? The yeah, one that's going to kind of earn you the most, kind of like, all right, fair play, yeah. fair play, you've, you've earned a lot of credit. So, a cool thing about um, houses as well is you actually you get the house, but you also get some bonuses alongside mm. them. So, for example, Edinburgh Castle, you actually get a crown. So, Harry can march around in the game. Wait, as like a character customization item, you get a yes, crown? Yes, yes, so he gets a crown, you can march around in the Regal game. Regal wave as well. That's right. Like, yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah, and so not just that, you can also uh, sometimes get, um, well, you kind of unlock features sometimes. So there's a, there's a house where um, it will um, enable you to fast travel anywhere in the world. So there's, there's reasons to kind of go out and earn these if you're, if you're not just a collector or one yeah. different form points or you found something, there's a reason to go do this because you're going to get all ed extra perks. Yeah, I think for, for us we know that, like, there are a lot of people who play our game and they play it so much and they end up with quite a lot of money just yeah, sitting yeah. in their, their house and this is, some, uh, this is something for them to... to yeah, so to go and buy Edinburgh Castle. Yeah, go try yeah. and earn that after collecting all the cars. Exactly. Like, it's a good thing to do. Um, should we also go take, have, a, have a look at character customization? Because this is something that I got extremely... like I thought was really cool and Harry's going to be uh, talking us through it. Um, so... Character customization. Sure, okay. What can we do? Well, I mean, coming off the back of um, Horizon 3 and previous forces, like, you were part of an endless summer festival, even when it rained. Mm -hmm. And um, as long as the characters were up to the task in terms of clothing, there was no real need to customize them. Um, so, going into Horizon 4, uh, with the introduction of Horizon Life and Seasons, we thought it'd be cool to have, like, a fully fledged customizer um, where you can, you know, dress your character to your heart's content. Um, so, Looking at the customizer all up, um, we've got the same 14 drivers from Horizon 3. Uh, we've got res them, so they, they look nice and pretty. Um, and then what we've done is we've laid out over 500 items uh, throughout 10 different categories of clothing. So uh, I'll quickly skim through the types, and then we can probably dress up a character yeah, or two. Yeah, Cool. So uh, we'll go through, we've got tops. Uh, that's your upper layer. Yeah. Uh, jackets, so outer layers, coats, uh, part, like, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, legs, feet, uh, hats. Uh, eye accessories, nose accessories, <laughs> wrist accessories, uh, hands, so gloves, um, and then there is one more tab which is outfits, but we'll come back to that later oh. on. Uh, one thing I've also just noticed just before we kind of start dressing our like, characters is the different colours, so there's, is there different rarities of, of items for you to collect? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so there are um, four rarities as there are for a lot of things in the game. Yeah. Um, and the way you earn the clothing, uh, sometimes you might get it just by um, completing different parts of the game. Mm -hmm. So if you do the drift thread, you might get a special t-shirt um, that kind of tells everyone how good a drift you are. Um, you can also unlock them from wheel spin. Yep. Uh, and um, the, the final way is that in the, there's a, we have like a Forza Fond shop, which I yep. think we're going to talk about in, a, in another week. Okay. But there'll be items that you, um, you know, will win from, from those events. No, that's, that's cool. So it's like it's something, something to always aim for. So if you kind of like if you if you if you're a big drifter, you can kind of show off and yeah. kind of dress your character how like to kind of showcase that. Um, so should we kind of like make some crazy outfits? And, like, oh, we wouldn't do well. So let's yeah, <laughs> let's try and be 
the guy at the festival that looks like he's having the best time. The best, the yeah, best the time. Yeah, the best time. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I think that really vibrant and like flashy. I think I'm is very. I'm thinking animal print. In, yeah, there yeah. You're, you're, you're just thinking like leopard, leopard shirt. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. And then we'll jump into jacket. Go, wait, hold on. Like I see the gold blazer. Right. Just first of all, gold blazer. Gold, gold blazer. <laughs> I don't think it quite works for the leather thing, but you know, it's not somewhere. It's well, very, yeah. <laughs> very blingy. I think bomber, right? Like, why not? Um, hold on. What else have we got? All sorts. There's like loads. There's like loads of different variations. Loads of different things. Um, yeah, I mean, a bit of tweed. You know, a bit of tweed. Oh, that. Yeah, dresses a country. Well, yeah, has, has to be done. <laughs> All right. He likes it. He really. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, oh, there we go. <laughs> Um, you jump through layers. So, you know, you've got a mix of uh, trousers, leggings, shorts. Things. You can do some really horrific combinations. <laughs> Beautiful combinations. What are those yellow yeah. running shorts? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yellow. So, uh, <laughs> hold on, what else have you got? I really like sequin, the kind of like camera. Short shorts? No. Oh, those, those look terrible, the tweed. <laughs> that, that is all I'm going to say, straight away. Oh. Well, let's go for the tartan roll ups. <laughs> what? <laughs> tartan roll ups. <laughs> what, why not? Yeah. <laughs> all right, feet. Cool. Um, right, Captain Kilvillard has just, just come in and said, can a man wear a dress? Yeah, so for, yeah, for, us, for us, like, accessibility and inclusivity is super important. So mm -hmm. for us, we don't really specify gender at all in the yep. game. So it's just you pick the character that, you know, you think resembles you, um, mm -hmm. and you pick the clothes that you want to pick, and there's no limitations. Yeah, clothes are clothes. Are clothes. Uh, just to show you that, um, any concoction you come up with with a character, uh, you just flick across the next one and the outfits moved across. So. so it's just kind of like all kind of seamless between yeah. every character yeah. and customization. It's what you want to wear, it's what you want to choose, uh, is what you can what you can have in the character. Yep, yeah, sure. So um, we can, should we should we have a look at outfits, right? Because it was the last thing that we kind of we, we did mention just to have a look at that because it it did make me laugh. <laughs> Two seconds. Yeah, cool. So we'll leave him at that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll we'll go past all the accessories. Uh, clip on mustache. Santa's tash. Good it's got to be done. Yeah. Add the Santa's tash. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. We'll go for the gold. The gold one. one. <laughs> um. Yeah, but then yeah. So outfits are new. Uh, we're looking to extend them um, and get a lot more from them. But yeah, we've gone for. I'm drawn to the disco chicken. A chicken suit. suit. Yeah, the uh, the disco chicken's good fun. <laughs> it is very bright. <laughs> that 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 is the guy having the that, most fun at the yeah, festival. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You see him, follow him, he'll be there. He, you will have a good time. Yeah, he'll be singing it <laughs> coming home, right, all, all the way down the road. Right. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I was determined to get it's coming home somewhere. I'm still an optimistic individual. Um, so we've got all those suits, uh, and then you've also got emotes as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so we can take a look at those. I'll jump back out of the chicken suit for that. So uh, we've got 50 emotes at launch, um, all included in the game. Again, going through the same rarity trees. Uh, we've got a good mix of dance moves, memes. Can we uh, see the dab? It's, it's, if, I'm, if I'm so, I apologise, but there, <laughs> there we go. Like, it, it, he's it, very it's, proud of it. it he's very, he, he shouldn't be proud of that one, but he should. Uh, he has. <laughs> oh, no. So yeah, yeah, if you want many different combinations of dabbing, and I think I think we've got to do a floss as well. Like, we've got got to show the floss. Find it. Right. I'm just going through my favourite my hey, favourite yeah. ones. <laughs> right. So go there. Uh, one final question as well uh, for you, Harry. Is can we wear kilts in the game? Is there a kilt? There is absolutely a tartan skirt. It's a tartan skirt. <laughs> so it's as close to the kill. Oh, I think it was that like a route going Ralph from Ralph was like, come on. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, but I, we're, we're going to get Chris. We're going to take a look at cars now. So um, big thank you, Harry, for no kind of showing us through that. It's awesome. I can't wait to see all the different combinations that everyone comes up with. Uh, but thank you very much cool. for showing thank that. You. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, we're going to get Chris in now as well to kind of show us through, talk us through the cars and kind of like how they work with your houses as well. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us. No, no problem. Um, shall we get a look into kind of one of the most important parts of Forza, of yep. course, is the cars. Um, and they look beautiful. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit how we can look at cars in the, uh, in the house? Yeah, so player houses, you get everything that you would get in the auto show in your player house. So you can customize it there, upgrades, mm -hmm. etc. You can do designs, paints, delivery stuff. Um, but the nice thing here is you can do it with, you can see here, if I just go into Forza Vista, you get natural lighting on the car. So if, if you're doing a livery, you get to see it out in the open world as opposed to in the auto show. So, so you this see is how it can react. This is a really nice touch for the livery makers out there. You can go around and see how the reflections of yeah, trees and things are. Yeah, you've seen the car you've built, like outside yeah. the house you've bought, it's just, oh, it's so Yeah, so it's a great feeling. So in terms of uh, cars and customization, this is the car Andy was driving earlier, the 
uh, R32 Skyline. Um, mm -hmm. We've now added the, this beautiful Rocket Bunny kit to it. It's a really nice kind of classic looking kit, but it's actually from, I believe, last year. Yeah. Um, so for Horizon 4, uh, we wanted to keep adding kits. It was something that was really w well received with Horizon 3. So we've, we've kept adding, and we're, we're trying to keep up with what people like Liberty Walk, Rocket Bunny, and RWB are doing. Have we got 30 new kits? Yeah, so we've got 30 new kits, um, most of which are branded, and we've also got a, a special uh, off-road kit, yeah. which we'll show later on as well. So if we quickly change our car, we can have a look at one of the new kits um, on the McLaren 650S, which is an awesome car to start with. I've become obsessed with McLaren recently because, yeah. like, cause, cause we, we got uh, with Estra with this with the Senna it's being like the Sahara car. I'm sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> I every time it's just like the Senna is a beautiful car. Right, it's already three. Got to drive around in it in Estoril. It was incredible, and now McLaren are my favourite. It's, it's not because it nearly made me sick going around it, and just kind of, it also made it's a great transition. It's one of the things that I, I found with the game is how accurate and how much work has gone has been put into it. Is when you're sitting one of these cars in real life and then go and drive it in the game, the grip and like the difference how cars like react and change is incredible and like kind of reflects it really well. Um, so yeah, like McLaren. So, so you're gonna love car. this then if you love McLaren. So, oh, this is an absolutely stunning kit. So let's pop that on there. Have a look at it in Forza Vista. So, it, it it's an, an already awesome looking car, but with this kit on it, it just drops it down to the floor. It's gonna change how it performs in game. Oh, for sure. Well. Yeah. So it's wider. You get wider tires with it. A lot more grip with that. Um, some aerodynamic tweaks there as well. Uh, especially with the ludicrously large wing hanging off the back of it. So actually, it's something you just mentioned out with like the tyres. Can you like change those in any way? So now like in yep. customization. So uh, new for Horizon 4, we've been listening to the community, and a big ask has always been to allow you to change your wheel offset or where your wheels sit on the car. Yeah. It's it's, it's a subtle thing, but it can radically alter how a car looks. Um, so for Horizon 4, over 150 cars are going to have uh, what we're calling wheel spacers. So you can now space your wheels out. Okay. Um, we can actually jump in and have a look at that if we want. So somewhere in it, BMW E30 M3. Um, so this is how it would have sat in Horizon 3. Just have a look at that. It's a great looking car. It's on some like, really nice wheels. They're tucked in a little bit though. So. <laughs> For those of us that are a bit car ner nerdy, this is this is quite a big one. So you can now oh, nice. get your wheels so nice you and push them out. out. So you can just get that stance perfect. And as I say, it's going to be on at least 150 cars at launch. Um, and it just it's another little change that you can do to your car to just really nail down the personalization to get it exactly how you want it. Um, and another addition, of course, is drift suspension, which we've talked about. So you can now put your drift suspension on and it gives you a lot more steering angles so it makes drifting a bit easier but you can hold much bigger angles uh, it's a lot more fun yeah so we've got so you can custom you can upgrade your car you put liveries on and kind of see it because I, I we're, we're obviously in this stream looking at summer and it's just amazing to see like all the details the light reflections um what other kind of things can you do can you kind of like go in and look at your car, cars and like the outside yeah as you would in the showroom sure so forza yeah. vista is also here you can i mean you can paint in here as well right and that's there's something really cool about just like being at your house painting your car. Like that's like <laughs> Yeah, it's a sad thing. It's a dream thing. I, 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 just get, I just get a paintbrush yeah, out and yeah. I just go and it's like, oh yeah, there we go. It's literally something I do in my driveway. It's yeah, normal, right. right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just yeah. especially when it's Edinburgh Castle as a as your driveway, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. It's like let me just do a few touch ups and stuff like that. It does look absolutely incredible and like I I love player houses and what it's gonna help bring to it. Is there um, anything else from player houses that players can do? Is there from up so we looked at customization, you've got it where you can you get new perks, you can change your cars, you can add liveries, yep. all the customization. Like I'm really excited to see what players can kind of get in and do. Um, but I, th I think we need to start doing some like challenges and stuff yeah. now. So I think we're going to get Ralph and Ben back in to kind of the try sheep the 